So how do you reflect on that performance and then building to the first performance, second performance and what you put out in the park there today? Initial reflection after a game like that is a huge amount of pride uh, in what the players showed today. Um, to to be under the pump for large periods of the game and to show the, the sort of resilience um, and, the, and the bravery to, to go and win a game when not a lot of things were going our way um, is, is a massive credit to the players. They worked incredibly hard in the space of 15, 16 days together. Um, you know, maybe maybe the, the, the first two games um, didn't test us like we like we maybe thought they might and, and this one certainly did so we found out a huge amount about um, ourselves uh, as a coaching group uh, about the players and, and what they were prepared to do for each other uh, in a green jersey and I think that that, that, that says it all in terms of the, the scoreline I, I, I tried to think what the possession and the territory stats were but I'd say we were second best in both of those and also the the discipline stats. So when you when you play a game like that and you come away with a result like that, it's um, yeah, it's a huge amount of pride. When you did get a platform into the game, you showed some of the rugby that you've shown over the last two games. How pleasing is that that you could do that against a higher level opposition? Yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, we would have liked to have done that more. And I think when we did get into our game, we broke them down as we as we um, as we thought we would. Um, and you know, the, the players have connected to each other, they've connected to the way we want to play the game uh, and, and that showed in, in you know, periods during the game but probably not enough to, to really take the game away from the Cheetahs uh, and, and that obviously showed in the, the last few minutes where they were still fighting to, to try and get a draw uh, but across the three weeks, uh, across the three games, sorry, yeah, the, the players um, have just shown up and, and time and time again whether it be going through walkthroughs or, or Pitching up a training, unopposed training because we haven't been able to field uh, two two sides at training because we're we're you know we're we're still recovering from the last game. You know, I think all those things combined to, to come here and, and get a result like that today, uh, you know, is a massive credit to the players. And um, Max, a couple of Springbok out there in the field, very experienced players. How did that game, in terms of intensity or just physicality, compare to some of the rugby you would have played with Leinster? Yeah, it's it's uh, it's definitely right up there. Um, 100% like you know especially in that that first half you know we're down to 13 minute stages like I don't up at altitude you know against you know seasoned veterans um, I don't think it really gets much tougher than that and I think the way the boys dug in on our line it, we, we must have been in our 22 for 20-30 minutes so to, to dig in that hard and to, to knock and seize you know when we had um, when we were down to 13 is you know it's unbelievably pleasing I couldn't be more proud of the lads and um, yeah, just such a dog fight out there and to come out on top is uh, yeah, amazing. And in those moments when you're down to 13, what, were you, what was being said out there? What were you saying to each other um, <coughs> to get yourselves back into the game? Um, I think, you know, a lot of it was discipline, so I was just trying to calm kind of next moment, next moment focus, where there was, you know, a scrum on our, on our five meter line, let's focus on the scrum and then we'll focus on defending them. Um, or it was, you know, when we had the ball, let's get out of our 22, let's put pressure back on them. But, um, you know, we were on, under such a huge amount of pressure in that first half, like, it, it, all I'm trying to say to the lads is to stay calm, you know, don't let the everything that's going on in the game, all the discipline, all the penalties, kind of kind of play what we want to do as a team. So I think, you know, it was, a, it was a battle out there, especially in the first half, and then for a large part of the second half, you know, towards the end, so, um, yeah. <clears throat> Simon, just what have you learned about this group over the last two weeks? Uh, I guess I could be here quite a while talk about individuals. Uh, you know, Max has led incredibly well. The, the leadership of, of players who we wouldn't have spent a lot of time with uh, across the across the last couple of weeks. Um, you know, the, the players have been incredibly resilient, but incredibly um, self-sufficient. They, they've gone on with things. Um, you know they've been they've been curious about the way we play the game. They've they've, they've been a, a massive appetite for learning, and um, you know we know that the depth and the and the, the sort of yeah I guess the depth in Irish rugby is, is was there to see today. Um, you know there'll always be things you want to do better in a game, uh, things that you think you can control a little bit better in a game, but 
in terms of uh, application and, and uh, resilience and um, finding out about individuals in a challenging environment which today was uh, you know we, we've learned a huge amount and you know it, it's such a you know, such a, a great way to finish and, and not uh, not taking anything away from the last couple of games because you know the boys worked incredibly hard but to finish like that and you can see the the, the pride and the you know the the enjoyment that the players got out of it uh, and and all the staff as well um, you know, we put together a, a you know the the staff have worked incredibly hard to to make sure that the players have had as, as best environment as they could possibly have and, and uh, you know credit to the players to, to for buying into for that just one last one for me um, what's the next step for me for this group what's the next opportunity uh, potentially for for members of this squad as, as you return back to the, the senior national team I guess part of the the, the reason for doing this is to find out about uh, individuals, how they work in our environment, uh, make it hard for us not to pick them again. And, and you know, so many players are, are going to make it very hard for us not not to pick them again when it comes to November series and, and beyond. And I think that was part of the, the the process as well. That the opportunities that this last three games and the, and the two weeks together presented um, only a couple of weeks ago, uh, it was probably something that the players, some players certainly wouldn't have thought they had that chance and now that they've tasted that uh, I think they'll have an appetite to go back to the provinces uh, and, and continue to, to improve um, but it's going to make it really really difficult for us um, by the way the guys have gone about their business this last couple of weeks to, to pick a, a squad for the November series which is exactly what you want.